Chad Mendez is through, the Pac-10 champion, and Jay Jaggers of Ohio State. Boy, Ohio State is starting to come on strong. New coach there for the Buckeyes, and look out, here comes Ohio State. It'll be Jaggers wearing the red singlet, and Chad Mendez, the top seed in the green. Chad Mendez was an All-American two years ago at 125 pounds. Then he moved all the way up to 141. He was injured last year, sat out, lost a year, but he's really strong, and here he is, filled out, ready to go, and been seated number one, expected to be here, but Jaggers, I mean, Jaggers was the junior Hodge winner in, the, in high school, so he's expected to be here coming out of the high school, but he hasn't been ranked that high all year. Tim Mendez begged his coaches after he sat out of here, please, please don't make me wrestle at 125 anymore. And they wanted him at 133. He said, no, I feel more comfortable at 141. They said, all right, but you've got to make that a final determination. Well, he has made that certainly pay off big. And since he's moved up, he's been solid on, uh, solid on his feet. He's great on top. He can tilt people, and he's got a tough ride. He can hold you down. Undefeated Chad Mendez going up against Jaggers, who's lost five times this year, but just continually believes in himself. Tom Ryan, the second-year coach at Ohio State, who has three finalists tonight, really doing a job at Ohio State, says it's just a matter of his attitude and belief in himself, and obviously he's been believing in himself this weekend. Jaggers is also a returning All-American, finishing seventh at this weight last year. Sort of that dirty little secret in the wrestling community about Ohio State isn't it guys they've always been that sleeping giant that everybody was sort of afraid of and now that Tom Ryan is there you get this sense that the Buckeyes are really starting to come on strong and they're showing it here in this tournament from top to bottom solid team and they're peaking at the right time Jaggers has always fought injuries in one kind or another really never was able to put it together until right now but he's an Ohio native. He's from Northfield, Ohio, St. Peter Channel High School. Okay, guys, let's pick the pace up now, right? And you let's see Tom Ryan, up, the head coach of the Buckeyes. We'll get down to Quint Kessnick here in just a second. I want to let everyone know that our referee for this match is Dave Hickson. You'll be hearing him from time to time as well. That's it, keep that pace up, keep it up. Some attempted shots, but not real good setups. They weren't able to get in and get a good hold on either of each of, on each other's legs hey, at wrestle all. Wrestle off the tie-ups, wrestle off the tie-ups, right here. Come on, give me some offense. Let's go, guys, come on. Come on, offense from the ties, let's go. That's the sound of the official you hear. Nice snap, but Mendez couldn't capitalize, though. And that's the idea, take the opponent out of his defensive stance, make him vulnerable. Short clock, short clock. Heard the official say short clock, meaning it's the end of the period coming up. And it will be a scoreless first period as we get you to Quinn Kessner. Here we go, guys. Center up. Center Save up. the pressure of this NCAA tournament. Shows up in a lot of different ways for Jay Jaggers. Nervous stomach and anxiety, both in the first round and the quarterfinals, where he's had to take time out and actually vomit Matt's side. He said in the quarterfinals, it was the burden of becoming an All-American. Uh, Coach Tom Ryan says his main chore in the corner is just to calm his nerves. He says, Jay is inspired by himself, but he's wound too tight. I have to get him into a relaxed state. Good luck with that. Good, 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 good. Jack is doing a nice job of turning in on the return to the mat. He earns an escape. Great hip heights there. Separated his hips away from Mendez and a tremendous hip height. Uh, action there to get that escape. Okay, improve the tie-ups, not the headgear, not the headgear. Good. It's interesting to hear the official talk so much to these two wrestlers on the mat. Okay, more offense now, more offense, let's go. There's a balance between encouraging the wrestlers and uh, getting involved more than uh, an official should, and we're gonna have a chance tonight to listen to that. By saying more offense, he's basically warning both wrestlers, if you don't get it going, I'm gonna call stall warning on you. Let's go, guys, take some risk now, let's go. One minute, one minute. Okay, offense, offense 
from here. Let's go, guys. Offense, come on, pick it up. Let's go. Both wrestlers working each other's head hard here to try to create don't a set up for a shot. Don't hook his head here. Mendez out of Hanford, California, Hanford High School. Lost his mom early on, and uh, but gained a stepmom that has uh, been with him for all these years. His dad is a great inspiration in his life. Yeah, offense, Started offense, him at five offense. years old as a wrestler, coached him in his youth. Mendez overcoming so much. You mentioned Tim his mom passing away. There's a and big quick double. Shot. He hooks it. Now Jaggers has got him just enough on the side. That should be two. No, no. Yeah, they don't call it. The time goes out. I don't. It, it, he, he went in. He had both legs, but Jaggers just tipped him Your enough choice. to the side on his hips that the official didn't think he had it. Your choice. We're on go. Let me know. There's mom and down. He goes down. He goes down. Go ahead, get set, please. Susan Mendez. Get Been set, his mom down. since he was a little kid, as he lost his uh, real mom very early on, and this is his family, his support group, right, right there. Hands. Let's go, hands down. Okay, red, go. Great, green, caution, green. Try it. Go ahead, caution for what? Wait for my whistle now. Hands start. down. 